Hi, Kelly here from First Lutheran. Um, we're here to remember Jesus. He said such, a, such amazing things and did such wonderful things that we tell a story so we can remember them. Now, what were some of those amazing things? What were some of those wonderful things? Well, we know that he spoke to people that no one else spoke to. People that weren't liked. People that had things that weren't going well in their world and he spoke to them anyway. He healed people. He stood up to the Pharisees, the law, the people that kept the law, that were kind of the fancy people. And he let them know that it is okay to do miracles on the Sabbath. He taught them how to pray. And then he told stories so that we would understand the way God thought about things. And he did it in a parable. Um, but not everybody loved Jesus. Um, and they crucified him. They, they um, thought that would be the end of him. And I think his friends thought that was the end of him too. But we know it wasn't. And we know this because there were people who um, saw him after he was crucified. They they felt it was him and they told people. And then those people told people and then those people told people. Until finally those stories were written down in some books. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, the Gospels. And Gospel means good news. Now, one of those stories in those books, um, let's see, were the, t the t women that went to Jesus' tomb to roll back the enormous boulder, and they, they wanted to put oils on him. So that, because that's what they did back then. When you love somebody, you put oil on them. But when they got there, they realized that Jesus was no longer there. And there was someone in dazzling white that said he's not here go tell other people and they did so from there we know a story about two men walking down a road to Emmaus and as they were walking to Emmaus there was a man that joined them they didn't know who he was but they were telling him all about why Jesus had to be crucified and what that was about. And they invited him to dinner. And as they sat with this man at dinner, they realized that when Jesus broke the bread, they realized oh, that's Jesus. And they did not recognize him until that moment. The minute they recognized him, Jesus was gone. They found that so amazing that they told their friends all about that. So they had their friends and they told them about walking with Jesus on the road, not um, recognizing him, and then recognizing him when he broke the bread. And as they told this story, Jesus appeared. Whoops. <laughs> um, and Jesus was there with them. Now, these are stories of Jesus being with them after the crucifixion. And these are stories that were all written down. Now, there's one story that I want to tell you about that is in the book of John. And it's a story that's very familiar because there were two disciples. One was named Peter and here's John. And they were fishermen. And in fact, when they became disciples, maybe I can put them in the boat. Maybe they'll stay there. So when they were fishing, um, a long time ago, they weren't having any luck. They fished all night and Jesus called to them and said, just like he did when he gathered, asked them to be his disciples. Um, and this is after the resurrection. So 
Jesus called to them and said, take your net and put it on the other side of your boat. Because they hadn't caught any all night long. And when they did that, they caught so many fish, their nets were bursting. And it is told that when they came ashore, that Jesus was there waiting for them. And he had prepared for them a breakfast. He had, he was, he's prepared a breakfast of fish for them. Now, Peter, one of them fishing, he was the one that denied Jesus three times when Jesus was crucified. Said, I don't know him. I don't know him. And then he felt horrible. Because he had promised Jesus he would never deny him, but he did three times. Now, while they were eating this breakfast, Jesus turned to Peter and said, Do you love me? And Peter said, I do. Jesus said, Feed my lambs. And then later, Jesus asked him again, Peter, do you love me? And Peter said, you know I do. Jesus said, feed my sheep. Now, Jesus didn't ask him just twice. He asked him a third time. And the third time he said, Peter, do you love me? Peter was hurt. He didn't understand why does he keep asking me this. He said, Jesus, why do you ask me? You know I love you. Jesus didn't answer. He said, feed my sheep. Hmm. I think about this. I think about Peter being asked this three times. And I wonder why it was three times. I wonder who the sheep were. And then I think, I really like this story. I really like it that Jesus asked him three times. Because I think of how Peter must have felt when Jesus was crucified and he had denied him three times and Jesus asked him three times. I wonder if maybe Jesus knew exactly what Peter knew, even if Peter didn't know, because Peter was confused why Jesus kept asking. But Jesus was steady, feed my sheep. As we think about how sometimes Jesus knows more of what we need than maybe we do, can we say a prayer? Heavenly Father, from my heart, I ask you to take care of the children during this strange, odd time. We know that you're with us, and we know that, that you understand fully what we need. Even when we don't understand it, even when we are confused, you are with us. Help us to remember to connect the life that we are to the overwhelming, brilliant light that you are. We love you. We are grateful for the love that you share with us every single day. Amen.